The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we prepare for this coming Sunday, August the 21st, the 11th Sunday after Pentecost, August the 21st. So let us hear God's word together and pray together as we prepare for this coming Lord's Day service. The theme that ties our three readings together, the cross of Christ. The cross of Christ is the way into the kingdom of God. Again, the cross of Christ is the way into the kingdom of God. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hear the word of the Lord, the Old Testament reading for this, the 11th Sunday after Pentecost, which is from the prophet Isaiah, the 66th chapter, verses 18 through 23. For I know their works and their thoughts, and the time is coming to gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and shall see my glory, and I will set a sign among them, and from them I will send survivors to the nations, to Tarshish, Pool, and Lud, who draw the bow, to Tubal and Javan, to the coastlands far off, and have not heard my fame or seen my glory. And they shall declare my glory among the nations, and they shall bring all your brothers from all the nations as an offering to the Lord, on horses, and in chariots, and in litters, and on mules, and on dromedaries, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, says the Lord, just as the Israelites bring their grain offering in a clean vessel to the house of the Lord, and some of them also I will take for priests and for Levites, says the Lord. For as the new heavens and the new earth that I make shall remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your offspring and your name remain, from new moon to new moon, and from Sabbath to Sabbath. All flesh shall come to worship before me, declares the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Now the second reading, the epistle reading, is from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 4 through 24. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons. My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves, and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have to endure. God is treating you as sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? If you are left without discipline, in which all have participated, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. Besides this, we have had earthly fathers who disciplined us and we respected them. Shall we not much more be subject to the father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time, as it seemed best to them, but he disciplines us for our good that we may share his holiness. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but rather be healed. Strive for peace with everyone and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and by it many become defiled, that no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau, who holds, who sold his birthright for a single meal. For you know that afterward, when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no chance to repent, though he sought it with tears. For you have not come to what may be touched, a blazing fire and darkness and gloom and a tempest, and the sound of a trumpet and a voice whose words made the hearers beg that no further messages be spoken to them. For they could not endure the order that was given. Even if a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stoned. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. But you have come to Mount Zion, and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to innumerable angels and festal gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, 
the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And lastly, the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 13th chapter, verses 22 through 30. Jesus went on his way through towns and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. And someone said to him, Lord, will those who are saved be few? And he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow door, for many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the master of the house has risen and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, open to us, then he will answer you. I do not know where you come from. Then you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you come from. Depart from me, all you workers of evil. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but you yourselves cast out. And people will come from east and west and from north and south and recline at table in the kingdom of God. And behold, some are last who will be first and some are first who will be last. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The cross of Christ is the way into the kingdom of God. With the cross of Christ, the time has come to gather all nations and tongues. The sign of the cross is set forth in the preaching of the gospel and the declaration of the Lord's glory among the nations. Many will come from east and from west, from north and south, and will recline at table in the kingdom of God, but only by the narrow way of the cross. Only by the narrow way of the cross, those who refuse to follow Christ, crucified, will ultimately find only weeping and gnashing of teeth. Whereas Christ's disciples, called from all nations, will eat and drink with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of God. They will come into the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray the collect of the day for this 11th Sunday after Pentecost. O Lord, you have called us to enter your kingdom through the narrow door. Guide us by your word and spirit and lead us now and always into the feast of your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.